guys and welcome back to EB Florida Gardening. EB Gardening is zone 9B here in Florida, close to the Gulf Coast. Zone 9B um, means very humid, hot summers and very tempered winters. During our summer, one plant that we can grow is the eggplant. These will actually turn into perennials if you take care of them well. Now, the eggplant, it requires full sun, six plus hours. In my garden, that means in the Florida sun, four to five. Otherwise, it's just every plant with full sun, six and more hours will fry. Maturity is 50 to 60 days after planting. And I wanted to show you something that I think every gardener will appreciate. And that is when you fail to start your own seedlings, which happened to me this time around, it just would not take off. And you have to buy starts. Look out for the buy one, get ones. This container had two plants in it. The only issue with these is, is that you're now going to have to figure out how to separate the plants into two without hurting their very young, gentle root system. I'm gonna show you a method. What you can do is you take your plant, gently take out your seedlings, and now what I do is I use a bowl of water and literally wash the soil away. Be very gentle. And don't worry, you're not wasting the soil. We're gonna use this water later to water the plants. Very gently teasing the dirt off the roots. And you can see how they're tied together right here. So they're quite intertwined. And now I'm able to gently pull them apart. And here are two plants that we can now put into the soil. Alright guys, let's get to planting. So the label says to put them in a spacing of 24 to 36 inches apart. And that's what we're going to do here. In addition to that, what I've already added are some pollinating plants. So that will attract the bees and other pollinators. Because that's what you need in order to grow vegetables or fruit, right? You need those helpers. I also will add some starter fertilizer that helps for the roots to take. So let's just get digging. Now I added compost to this bed not too long ago when I was growing the cabbages in this bed, which are fizzling out. I have to harvest them and eat them all. So all you have to do is just dig deep enough of a hole, add your fertilizer, take one of the baby plants that you just freed, add it to the hole. and firmly plant around the root ball. We always want to avoid put, having any type of air bubbles around it. I'm going to put the second one just slightly staggered.
that's all there is to it. I'm going to actually cover them with some cages that I get at the Dollar Tree um, that will prevent like bugs to get in and I will water them in and then that's it. So one starter plant was four dollars since there was two in one which you don't see very often but keep out keep a lookout for it. I got one for two dollars. So that's how you garden on a budget if you if you see some take off. I'll see you around next time. Thanks for watching and I appreciate you hitting likes and your comments and if you share your ideas and things that you'd like me to answer, please do so in the comments.